Back on the campaign trail in Wolverhampton today. A smile on her face after those local election victories. But Theresa May not allowing herself to sound triumphant. No tinkering with what the Tories now think is a winning script. I'm taking nothing for granted over the next five weeks. I need support from across the United Kingdom to strengthen my hand. And only a vote for me and my team will ensure that Britain has the strong and stable leadership we need in order to ensure that we get the best deal for Britain from Brexit. Jeremy Corbyn rallying supporters today in Leicester, a city which in football terms knows all about outsiders winning against the odds. The stakes are high. We know from yesterday's election results that the gap between us and the Tories is not as great as many of the pundits have been saying. But we still have many people to convince. And we have four weeks to do that. Are we up for the challenge? Yeah. Are we there to do it? The Lib Dem leader in a doctor's surgery in South London today with what he says is a cure for the NHS, promising to put a penny on income tax to raise six billion extra for the health service. While the Lib Dems focus on policy today, the Conservative campaign continues to be built around Theresa May herself and the Tory tactic to focus on the Prime Minister and Brexit appears to be paying off for now. The Lib Dem leader admits his party can't win power. He's asking voters to imagine what Britain will be like if Mrs May gets a majority larger than Mrs Thatcher's. I don't need to imagine it too much. I grew up in one of those communities in the 1980s. I remember what it was like with half my mate's parents out of work at any given time. Why? Because we had a Conservative government with a colossal majority that thought it could take communities across Britain for granted. UKIP only won one seat in the local elections. The party leader kept his head down yesterday, trying to put a brave face on it today. People will come back to UKIP in droves in the future, and I think the post-Brexit UKIP could be far bigger than the pre-Brexit UKIP. So the future's bright, but we've just got to stay on the pitch. There's over a month to go until the country goes to the polls. But at this stage, it really does look like the month of May.